So here we are again, out in the sunshine, and the uh, solar test rig has uh, made another outing, and it's had a few things added to it, and they're up here in this top right-hand corner. And uh, from left to right, you've got uh, a MOSFET there, and then down there, there's a Shockey diode, and that uh, piece of wire is a an inductor. Now this configuration is a buck converter and it's uh, simplified it's just the three components and I took this straight off Wikipedia so there's nothing fancy here and I've no way of knowing yet whether these components are the right components but um, what's interesting about a buck converter is that in the DC state as long as the MOSFET switched on and I've done that by just putting this 9 volt battery straight across the uh, gate and source terminals that cluster of components effectively does nothing or just acts as a piece of wire and you can see here from the display that um, I've got 17 watts traveling through the system uh, that's coming from this 20 watt solar panel and the load is my LAM, my large array of multiple uh, miniature, sorry, large array of miniature bulbs uh, 17, 16 watts traveling through this system with the buck converter in place but as I say, in the DC state, it does nothing, and so just passes the current straight through. And that's interesting, because uh, when this thing is being switched, it can act as a DC to DC converter. When it's not being switched, it can act as nothing. And that could be quite interesting, because we could switch between MPPT and PWM modes, depending on what, uh, what the circumstances are. So, the next step for this... Um, circuit is going to be to put in an oscillator and uh, preferably it will have variable frequency and variable mark space ratio. Um, I also think we're going to need uh, a capacitor so I've got one here it's a 4700 uh, microfarads 35 volt I've no idea whether it's low ESR and this circuit most certainly will need a low ESR equivalent series resistance capacitor um, get it all going, get it oscillating, see what frequency is necessary to uh, to get the inductor. This inductor I'm almost certain is going to be too small, uh, both from a DC current point of view and from a magnetic storage point of view. But um, just see what the circuit does and whether we get any uh, DC shift. And uh, just one final thing, I've just noticed that the... <laughs> The sun's gone in ironically, but there we are, look, 19, it's just flicking up to 20 watts. And the uh, peak value has hit 20.8 watts. So that's uh, a 20 watt solar panel into an optimised load. And uh, 20 watts peak, the sun's gone in now. Always happens. And uh, just one other thing while I've been playing with this in the graphical mode. I've got this interesting uh, pattern. You've got the outer curve running across the top here and down the right-hand side. But also you've got these spokes running in at these various angles. And they are, when I was at different power points by using different numbers of bulbs on my uh, load unit there, it's where the sun went behind a cloud and then of course both voltage and current collapse together. So it just heads for the zero point, the zero, zero mark and uh, depending on where I'd set the load at the time when the cloud came across depends on where it drew that spoke line so I just thought that was an interesting uh, little pattern that had emerged on there